Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium review. Today we're going to take a look at another Norscott model. This is the Caterpillar 365C front shovel, made in 1 to 50 scale, and as it is a Norscott model, it has long been discontinued. Now, this was kind of a special edition for its time. As you can see, it's in this black brownish box, uh, as opposed to the standard cat black and yellow box that you're accustomed to seeing. And one of the reasons why was this was right at the time period, 2006-2005-ish, that Norscott was transitioning its rubber-tracked models to metal-tracked models. And that is why you see that there's an emphasis uh, even written on the box that it has metal tracks. So, for reference, this is model number 55160. There's a great picture of the machine on the back and details on what the model can do. So with that done, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. And here she is. So the first thing to note is that a lot of people bought this model solely for the tracks. As this is a 365 machine, what many people did is they bought this just to take the screw off on the bottom and put this on a Norscott 365 excavator so that that machine would have metal tracks. And you can do that, but uh, I tend to like this machine just the way that it is. So getting into the review, we'll start out with the functions. Spins 360 degrees, no problem. The tracks also roll on any surface without any issue, helped along by spring tensioners and being spring-loaded. Um, as far as the function of the front shovel itself works, the boom will go up to that height. Stick goes in like that. It dumps that far, which is an excellent angle, as you can see. And as with most front shovels, there's your carry angle. But most of the time, they will want to open from the bottom, and as you can see there, that's replicated quite nicely. As far as the details go, there's plenty of teeth and wear plating all over this bucket. Uh, it would have looked so much nicer if all the bolts had been painted cat yellow, but uh, for a model that's 12 years old, that's not really that bad. Over the cab, you have the rock protection guarding that's plastic. The grab rails are plastic, the handrails are plastic. The exhaust right here is plastic, and you have some rubber hydraulic lines that go from the back of the machine up the boom. On the rear, you have the CAT logo, which looks good. And over here, you have a mirror as well as an access ladder. And uh, the tracks do have bolts, uh, bolts head on them, and uh, steps, obviously, to climb up on them, but they do not have working rollers. And one of the dead giveaways on this model that I hate, and you've probably already noticed it, look up here. They didn't even bother to color the black screws in. So this is the, this is how the model would come if you bought it from the factory. And I know a lot of people that just put some cat yellow to cover those in, but man, it looks very, very bad. So there you go. It's a solid model, especially if you're into mining equipment. It's still pretty easy to get on the secondary market, despite being 12 years old. So if you're into that kind of equipment, it can be recommended for that. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned in the next video. We'll see you soon.